Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with tizish.com. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize or how to upload a background image for your Twitter account and then how, how you can change the colors of your sidebar here and your text colors and so forth. Alright, so here's what we want to first do. Let's change, let's upload a background image to our, to our Twitter background. So here's what you want to do. Go to settings and then click on design and now scroll down to where it says change background image click on this link once and then now you're gonna find the image on your computer so click on choose file I'll click on Twitter back and then you have the option of making it a tiled background which means it's gonna show up as like smaller squares that repeat in the background over and over um, this basically that's not ideal the tile backgrounds tend to not look good if they're actual images only if you have a design specifically made for tile backgrounds and then click on this otherwise leave it blank and go ahead and click on save changes after after you get the customization has been saved scroll back down and now you'll see your image showing up here click on your image see so that that now changes our background as you can see the Twitter background is now put into place here. All right, and then after doing that, click on Save Changes one more time, and now we're all set. We've now set our Twitter background. Here's a couple pointers that you should know that you should be aware of. Your main contact information should show up on the left side of your image because whatever shows up on this side is going to be different for people's different browser screens. As you can tell on my browser, the TI of Tizish is cut off here but on other browsers the TI shows up because it's a bigger screen but what doesn't what won't change is the whatever information is on the left so here's what I recommend you do I recommend you steal the picture that we have here and use this to measure meaning use this to measure this section here or Twizish if you want to be cute whatever you whatever comes after this period don't put any design into there or don't put any custom text Make sure your text shows up to the left of this section. That way, you could have a you could have a background image that shows what information you actually need to have showing up. All right. So that's how you do the background image. Now let's actually go over um, changing your colors. You know, changing the design colors of your items. That gets done by clicking on in the same section under design. Click on change design colors. And what what we're gonna do is the following. We're going to get a list of the background, text, links, sidebar, and sidebar border. That sidebar and sidebar border are basically these areas. This, see this border here? This is the sidebar. So the border is the color around it, and the sidebar itself is the background you see here, the blue. All right, as you can tell, that's what's matching. Now the links, links are basically all of your links. So this is a link here when I hover over it. What color do you want those? Same thing with the text. And background is basically the background color if you remove your picture here's why I'm mentioning this those are self-explanatory but here's the tips you want to do make your um, background color the very bottom color of your image meaning uh, it has to match so if you have a black background image make the background color black as well alright it just it's gonna be a lot more compatible when people have bigger monitors and then uh, the other item for your sidebar and sidebar borders just click on them and just click on different colors to see what you like. It's pretty self-explanatory. When you click on a color you want here or just change this spectrum here and click on done. But the key tip here is um, don't have contrasting colors. Make it easy to read. You know, so grays on blues, you know, um, what's another, what's uh, blues on whites, you know, blacks on whites. Don't do things like white on black that makes it hard to read and so forth or like, or yellow on green. Don't do really hard colors to read. But uh, just give it a go. It's pretty self-explanatory, and just uh, I think that's pretty much it. I just want to show you guys where it's all at. So if you have any questions on designing your Twitter page, then go to facebook.com forward slash tizish, spelled the way you see it here, and uh, go ahead and ask, ask away. Let me know how I can help you. All right? Well, that's everything. Take care.